Hi everyone, it's Lindenherz. Yeah, uh, this is after a long time an unboxing video again. Um, not sure when I will upload this um, and I'm quite sure that uh, there will be other new videos I will upload uh, before that. But in fact, this is actually, when it comes to chronological issues, the first uh, video I'm doing since a year. So, um, yeah, uh, it's been a long time. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and I thought um, sharing uh, a deck that just came in and that I'm looking forward to since, oh gosh, a year or so maybe a bit longer no it could be a year and um and i wasn't sure if i would be able to get it that early so uh, the thing is that uh, all the great decks even mass published decks uh, um, from the us you get you have to wait a long time until you get them here uh, amazon germany or even sometimes on um, book depository where well, I have to say, book depository is um, faster, so um, it's 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 um, easier accessible and easier uh, uh, to to get your hands on when you are ordering on uh, um, book depository. So, yeah. But um, I thought now I want to do an unboxing um, uh, after that uh, long time, and uh, sorry if the lighting is not perfect. I still have to figure out uh, how to, yeah, to find the best place uh, and make videos, because um, I might have told you in another video already uh, that um, we have moved. Um, yeah, last year we have moved and we're now living in the family house of my husband. And um, it's not easy to find perfect spots here for in terms of lighting. Um, and uh, this is a video I'm recording in the living room. Uh, I try to um, do them um, more in my witchy room, which you might already have seen or bits have, you have seen bits of it in one of the first videos where I explain a bit more about where I've been and what happened uh, to us and all the changes and so on and the ups and downs and so forth. But I thought now making a pure tarot video and no, let's just rip that open. And um, yeah, my little dragon friend here is uh, accompanying me. Because I know there are dragons also in this deck. And it's quite new. I know there are unboxings, uh, but I tried not to look at them. So let's see how to... Uh, and you might already guess it. And look at that, it's the Forest of Enchantment Tarot. And this is really, this is the first Llewellyn deck I purchased in years, in years. I've got rid out of, of a lot of Llewellyn decks uh, in, um, yeah, when I traded them and so on. So like the Raven's Prophecy, I try to recall uh it's not necessarily true that i traded a lot of them i have not used them a lot uh one that i'm um starting to get a not started it already started a month and month ago uh falling in love back in love with and even uh, even stronger than before is the terror of the hidden realm uh, which was a surprise for me, but I will uh, come back to that uh, maybe in another video um, about that. And uh, just to 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 come back to videos, um, um, I'm not sure how often I will do videos. Um, so maybe I've told you that already. Um, it depends uh, how and when I find the time uh, and make space for them. Um, it's not so easy anymore, uh, quite occupied by, uh, yeah, by the normal living, <laughs> so to speak. 
uh, but I want to come back and try to find my way back into uh, into YouTube, maybe into tarot. Uh, quite sure it will be about tarot, and I have some ideas for new videos um, or doing certain hashtags. But um, um, I guess I will um, also do videos about other stuff. So, uh, about maybe also about gardening and so on. But I guess I will. Uh, tell you that or I have already told you that in another video so let's open that and it's really the first Llewellyn uh, deck I get with this new hard box and this is really s astonishing uh, not astonishing uh, great so um, I already thought about getting um, the Terror of the Hidden Realm in uh, this hard case box so um, but um, again but um, I'm not sure I'm quite, I have to uh, be a bit picky about them. I'm already picky about my tarot decks. Not just in case of um, budget, uh, but I have certain criterias and uh, a lot of decks don't fit in these criteria. So, um, so there's not so much uh, or so many decks, so many new decks. I am. And it's quite a relief, to be honest, not to be after every new deck that comes out. Because it, it's causing a lot of stress to, oh my gosh, this is so gosh, uh, this is so gorgeous. I have to, no, this is simply not the way I'm, I'm, I, I'm not able to do it uh, financially. And this is the hot truth, the honest truth about that. And I'm uh, also... Um, most of the decks don't talk to me, um, uh, which has to do with the criteria I mentioned before. So let's open this. This flip box is really... Oh, look at that. This is really... The forest beckons alive with mystery and with wisdom. This is amazing. And I'm really looking forward also to, to read the guidebook by Lunea Weatherstone. Um, the only other book I have uh, by Lunea Weatherstone is uh, her Bridget book, Attending the Flame. And I devoured it. I devoured it in February, um, or in January, actually. And it's it's my Bridget Bible, <laughs> really my Bridget Bible. And um, so I'm looking forward to that. But I'm also amazed by, I, I try to hope I don't murder the name, Marila Elwood. And I followed her. Um, I followed her on Instagram. And one of the first images I saw of that deck was the Queen of Pentacles. I'm not sure it, she is called differently in this deck. So the suits are called differently. Uh, I have a different name, um, but um, I fell in love with her Queen of Pentacles, and I <laughs> already started path working with her before this deck was before I've seen other cards, and so. She is amazing and she does gorgeous miniature paintings. I know that she will uh, be selling some of, um, not the original art, but she will do art prints of certain cards and they will quite close to the original size. So she is a fabulous miniature painter. And yeah, and I love her style. I love, love her style. And uh, Willen really did a great job on that. So... And with this magnetic box, oh my gosh, look at that. And, and this green here with the spirals in it, it's amazing. And really, this is something we appreciate, uh, really. So all this, uh, this, the details, and this is also great. It doesn't look like uh, the cards could slip in it. Um, oh, look at that. Your path through the Enchanted Forest. Look at that. There's magic deep in the woods between the rushing brook and the sun dappled glade. When you're ready, shuffle the cards and begin your journey. And I have a bit of a feeling of the... At least I get a, an impression, uh, a bit of the wild unknown. Although I'm not a heavy wild unknown user. Um, I use more the Greenwood Tarot, so my uh, own uh, reprint I did, uh, so to speak. Um, of the Greenwood um, because the artist um, gave kind of permission to do that for your own personal use and uh, you can also read her own interpretation guidebook but 
so side note here, uh, uh, side uh, the stack, uh, I guess everyone will have known um, that um, that Mark Ryan is thinking about reprinting the Greenwood Tarot. They are doing a lot of things, and, and uh, there's also a Greenwood Tarot Facebook page and uh, website, and you get um, a short version of the Greenwood Tarot um, uh, guidebook, so to speak. It's not best printing, but it's okay. Um, yeah, so back to that. It has, especially with with this, uh, your path through and so on, uh, this is a bit uh, Wildwood uh, Tarot feel to it. So let's oh look at that. Oh my gosh, it's full color. Okay, Llewellyn. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh I'm getting teary here. Look at that. Oh wow, this was so worth the wait. Oh my gosh, and I am all only two pages in or three. But look at that, isn't that you want to join him? Ah. Oh. This is amazing. This is the first full color. This is the first full color uh, Llewellyn guidebook I have in my hands, actually. And it's also very glossy. Oh my gosh, look at that. This is, oh gosh. Love that with a quote by Joseph Campbell. This is very fitting. The adventure is always in the dark forest. You enter the forest at the darkest point where there is no path, where there is no way or path. It is someone else's path. Okay, not great uh, times of reading here. Ah, and there you can see the, the traditional names and the new names. This is sometimes uh, a thing where I have to wrap my head, head around um, and I try and not I try. I have always to come back to these kind of pages it's great, I understand it, but um, I have to learn the new names, so to speak. And um, death is black shock. Yeah, I've seen it or shock, shock. I don't know. This is easy. Hermit strength, all the same. The fairy wind, okay. Lovers, oh, the oldest one. I have seen that card. This is so amazing. Forest Lord Emperor, Green Mother, it's easy. Wise Woman is also quite easy. The Enchanter, yeah. The White. The white heart. Heart. I'm not quite sure what that means. It sounds like heart. So, um, yeah, your heart. Uh, like in heart center, but um, hmm. try to look that up. Devil is the liar. This is also great. Tower is the folly. Okay. Starlight, moonlight, sunlight. Okay, it's quite easy. The council of animals, judgment, and I guess this is that card here, the Council of Animals. Um, oh, I have to remove it. Sorry if that is a bit distracting here. I have to remove a, uh, yeah, something from the, the smartphone because it's getting too hot. So let's see. Care and feeding your deck. Okay, that's the usual things. What's the best way to learn tarot? Okay, we have all the shuffling. Th oh my gosh, this is the oldest one. This is uh, the Hierophant, actually. Oh, this is amazing. I wasn't... I, I, I never thought that, that it would be in full color. Oh, look at that. So you have... So writing... The writings are amazing because um, uh, Marilla Elwood uh, already shared a bit of the bits and pieces of it on her page for each card. Not each card, but some of the cards. And it was... Uh, it was like reading fairy tales, so it was quite fitting for the whole a bit fairy tale like thing, so storytelling thing. Meaning at a glance, a new beginning, accepting the invitation, going forward with trust. The journey begins, follow your instincts. This is a totally different take on the fool. So no edge, no cliff, no jumping, no white dog, instead a white stack. Um yeah. Let's read that part. At the edge of the deep forest stands an invitation to enchantment. When you see a pure white deer, you are being called to follow it, and only the foolish would ignore such a beckoning. And yet it takes trust to enter the forest, to explore the unknown, the uncharted. Mysteries, mysteries await you, according to what your soul needs for its journey. 
There are surprises around every bend in the woodland path, and often there is no path at all. The white heart opens a portal into the wild, and your own wild heart responds. Step forward through the swirling mist into the realm of apple and oak, ash and hawthorn, fir and willow, holly and hazel. There are many comp companions along the way, and adversaries too. The first step into the forest must be taken on your own. The traditional name for this mysterious card that is numbered zero is the Fool, and it symbolizes the start of a new adventure that is undertaken with a pure and innocent heart. The pun here is intended. Follow your heart. Oh, okay, this is that they made um, with a pun. Okay, closer look. Oh, this is interesting. The trees that are named in the description are shown in the cards clockwise from the left. Each has a magical meaning. Apple, the other world, oak, endurance, ash, action, hawthorn, protection, fear, perspective, willow, intuition, holly, challenge, and hazel, wisdom. Oh, this is great. So, oh my gosh, look at that. I'm getting so teary here. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Oh my gosh. <sighs> this is okay. We, we will take a look at the cards, but let's see. Um, oh, this is also great. So, pages to journal. In, but to be honest, who does that? Who journals in their guidebook? So, uh, I wouldn't dare to use certain pens because they would, yeah, you would show on the different. Oh my gosh, look at that. The owls, the owls. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Back to where I was. So, there are also spreads in here. Two card spread, one card spread. This is also a great name for one card spread. Your day in the forest. Oh yeah, this is something I'm in need of. Day in the forest or even days in the forest. The white heart is a two card spread. Who am I as I center the forest today? As I enter the forest today. <clears throat> okay, could also be fitting. As I center into the forest today. <laughs> Who will I be when I emerge? Bread comes in moonstones. Okay. There are other ones. Okay, the old advice. Who, what, when, where, why, the message. Hmm. Council of Animals. Interesting. So there are spreads in here. Ah, the boons. Boons. So boons were pentacles. And please, let's... Oh, well, pentacles. Sorry. I try to make it a bit... Mm, people of challenges. Ah, now I, know, now I understand. They... Do the courts um, in the back, so uh, the Keeper of Boons, which is, I guess, the King of Pentacles, the Keeper of Challenges, could be Air. <coughs> Sorry. Um, could be Air, Challenges, Swords, I guess. Um, what is there? Is there a name for it? I don't know. They don't say it. Okay. Uh, the Keeper of Visions. Oh, this is great. The Keeper of Visions. This is Salmon. Wow, this is very, very Celtic-like. The Keeper of Spells. Wow, look at him. Oh, my. And with some dragon magic to it. Oh, my gosh, look at him. He looks very elf-like. The Keepers. Okay, the Keepers. Do they say what the Keepers are? The, I guess they will, will be different. Okay, and there she is. Sorry. <laughs> I want to visit her and live with her and learn from her. And uh, I already started something like that in my path working with her. And oh, it, it, oh, isn't she oh, beautiful? Really, I would love to buy this deck alone and then, sorry to say, but cut every page out and frame them on the wall. So, ah, yeah, look at her. Motherly. She reminds me a bit of a of a character from uh, the Never Ending Story. Um, I'm not quite sure how she is called in uh, in English. Uh, if you've read the Never Ending Story near the end, where Bastian uh, or Bastian has to find himself uh, or refind himself, reclaim himself, his lost memories, he is entering the House of Change. And there is a, a woman living there, which is in German uh, called um, Dame Ayola. 
I'm not quite sure how she's called in English. Ayola, I've read something thim similar, but I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Ayola or something. And she is, uh, ever, every time I read that chapter, I want to go there and, and learn from her. And this place feels totally nurturing and healing and soothing. And um, I get that feel from her as well. So, um, earthy sensuality and merry nature. Yeah, she's looking certainly like that. And she is like that. So, from my kind of experience from her. A generous heart grounded in practicality. Protect, protective of family and community. Shadow traits. So, you have also shadow traits. Smothering takes too much upon herself. Judges other people's lifestyles. Insists that she knows best. She probably does. <laughs> okay, with a bit of a wink so the weave of boons knows just what you need yeah this is definitely an offering of comfort and care yeah this is definitely oh look at that so this is definitely swords to me so it's very wintry so often the swords are also associated with winter so the weave of challenges wow weave of visions this looks very so visions, the visions are, okay, the visions, uh, visions is, um, water is um, cups, quite fitting. So mermaid creature, dreamy intuitive and so on, weave of spells. So, but however, this is a great guidebook as you see, uh, oh, sorry, you have to, oh, what was that? I hope my, yeah. Hope everything is okay. <clears throat> but look at that. Sorry to say, I'm, I'm skipping here back and forth. So sorry if you want to see just a flip through. I guess there will be other videos where you can do that. I want to talk about everything here. And I'm super enthusiastic about it. And I like that. Look at that. So this is like a king or something. So it's not a king. It's an ace, which is quite interesting. The enchanted alley of visions is a swan. Renowned for their grace and beauty, swans are also powerfully strong and fierce and faithful in love. They mate for life in marriages that may last 20 years. Swans are emotional and expressive creatures calling our, out in triumph when they roast an enemy. Yeah, I can certainly say that. Uh, emitting one last lament as they leave this life. The swan says, a dream is a wish your heart makes. Age of visions is water. Okay. The swan's gift to you is a tiny enchanted pool in a secluded glade. When the water is still, it becomes a magic mirror. All that you desire is reflected there. And most importantly, so is your own true self. Okay, your own true self. You have nothing to fear from him. Your swan knows that your true self is noble, pure and beautiful. This is, oh, this is quite great. And also the swan, which is quite an... Um, it's a quite an uh, an animal here in the uh, family of my husband because my um, um, father-in-law who passed away last year, uh, who was really called in this area here the Swan Whisperer, because he tended a Swan family for years. So uh, where he was out with his boat uh, on the lake and. He even protected this family from another intrusive swan family. And um, yeah, so his swan family could stay there. He was allowed to get near to the, the eggs and uh, uh, the swans came to him. He fed them and so on and so forth. He, he, he cared for them, uh, tried to remove hooks that uh, fishermen had left there and so on. And uh, was also used for... Um, yeah, rescuing uh, swans that were injured and so by by um, by animal uh, uh, protectors and so on. So it's quite an an animal here, and I start to learn more about the swan as uh, also um, the animal of Bridget, which became or who became my matron this year. I will talk about that maybe also in another video. We'll see. So. <sighs> My gosh, so enough. Back to the cards. Uh, I feel this will be a long video, as you might know it, but maybe. Oh, look at that! And 
<sighs> yeah, so fitting, 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 fitting. And again, it's not so tightly shrink wrapped. And I try to have I something here, or can I remove it otherwise? Okay. Oh, it's easy. It's easy. Oh, it's there. Uh, quite slippy, I see. And let's see. This is the first time I have um, Llewellyn cards, and let's check the cardstock. Okay, it's definitely not a thick and. Uh, I try to compare it with my um, Terror of the Hidden Realm and also the Green Witch Terror. So the Terror of the Hidden Realm that I own, and I know other people have said they have a total thin cardstock by the Terror of the, uh, in the Terror of the Hidden Realm, but I don't have. I have quite sturdy cardstock, and this is not as sturdy as that, but it is thicker as my thin... Um, I guess it's the first edition of the Greenwood Tarot, uh, Greenwood Tarot, of the Greenwich Tarot, um, which I don't have here, so I cannot com compare, but I guess this is a very standard size. So this is a bit more uh, bendable. Uh, we'll see how this endures, but the backing, oh, look at that. I, I love these green backings, so you want to un end with the owl. I knew the name of that owl. Oh, gosh. No, don't recall that. I don't, I might, I don't know, I know, no, I don't know the, um, the English word. I don't uh, only know the, 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 the German, Sumpfrohr Eule. So, um, maybe I will put it in here. So I'm not sure. So it, what, from the first, what I see, they're very, um, yeah, very slippery. So, uh, which can be great. Uh, but when you try to hold them like this, they, whoo. Yeah, they slip away. So let's see. Ah, oh, look at that. The detail is amazing, and you want to 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 go and meet him, the magician as the enchanter. And all the greens. This is every time I don't feel well. I am yawning for green. So sometimes also for blue or for the blue like in the sea or something, but most of the time my I'm yearning for green so entering the forest or entering my green sacred landscape inside my soul and wow look at that the wise woman is also amazing is the the high priestess which is which is interesting here so which is great so you still have the light and the dark like the dark, light and the dark pillow in uh, pillows pillows yeah Pillars, sorry, pillows are, yeah, pillars <laughs> in uh, the uh, in the original, in the uh, Smith Waite deck. So this is just great. And I wonder what, there are certain, uh, uh, um, different kind of fruits on that tree. So, sorry to say, it will be a long video. <laughs> I want you now, uh, I guess I will put in a warning, uh, yeah, somewhere. Okay, apple tree at a place. This is there are apples. Okay, mm. at a place where forest path diverts, a uh, diverged stands an ancient apple tree. One side bears the silver apples of the moon, the other golden apples of the sun. Wow. Okay, not more. This reminds me a bit of. Uh, of Tolkien's uh, two trees that were there before the sun and the moon came. So, uh, oh gosh, Laureline was one of the uh, the trees. And I forget the other one. So um, it reminds me a bit of that. Ah, oh, look at that. And the greens, really. The green mother is the empress. And look at him, the emperor. Yeah, this is a green man. Wow, with a wild boar. And there she is, the oldest one. I get a bit of a feeling, um, although uh, it's a human in that deck, in the guy in tarot, you also have the teacher who is sitting in front of, a, I guess, a cedar. And I have some feeling like with him, so something to learn in nature from nature to be with nature to be immersed in nature oh my gosh 
and look there this teeny tiny owl and i guess i cannot there <laughs> oh, the lovers wow she has lush hair the fairy wind was the chariot okay so also a bit of um Terror of the Hidden Realms were, uh, like, where it's the fairy stallion or something. Um, this was amazing to read on Instagram when I've read that story. This is really, this could be become also, again, uh, a bit like uh, Terror of the Hidden Realm, where you have the wolf and the, and the, the, the fae uh, together. And this is also such an amazing story i can only say get that deck get the deck get the deck if you're you're into that art style and so on and the hermit and so fitting it's a badger yeah wind on the willow wipes isn't it this is really wind in the willow the enchanted wheel oh, with magpies and so on and skulls and uh how this call in how do you call them in english we call them fliegenpilz oh look at the huntsman oh my gosh look at him the huntsman is uh 11 i'm still not good with that so we have the wheel what is 11 oh this is um okay this is justice mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this is interesting Suspension. Okay, the hanged man. This looks amazing. Like he's uh, captured in a drop of amber or something. So maybe it's because uh, it's before amber gets solid. Wow. And look at the death card, the black frog. I think, immediately think of Sirius Black in his dog form. <laughs> it looks like him in the prison of Azkaban. Amazing. The forge. What is the forge? Really, I still not good with this is death. This could be um, uh, temperance. Could it be temperance? I guess it's temperance. I'll try to see. The liar is the devil. Oh, look at him. He's inviting you with this look. Hmm. The folly. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. This is amazing. And the moonlight. And with moon hairs. Beautiful. The sunlight. This is also great. There we have the Council of Animals, which is a uh, judgment. And isn't that great? You entered with the heart, and now you're out in the woods in the world today. Oh, this is really, this is really a great, great ending for the Major Arcana. So uh, you started with with him. You started with a stack or with a white heart, and then you you emerge, yeah, from the wood from all the challenges, from all the the things you learned. And he is uh, accompanying you or at least uh, saying farewell to you while you head out into the world, so into to the wide world, which is quite lovely. And what a lovely landscape. It looks a lot like England. Wonder where. <laughs> Maybe uh, it's... Uh, inspired by the area where uh, the artist is living. So now off to the, the miners. And there we have the dragons, or at least one dragon. <laughs> this is actually not a sculpture. This is a candle. But I cut off the wick because, to be honest, who would light such a candle? No one. So never ever. <laughs> This is lovely. He's igniting the staff and this crystal. This is quite interesting. Hmm. And there we have. 
Ah, so the the all the aces. This is quite interesting and and uh, great. So you can uh, take a look at the the aces. Oh, it looks almost too white on my camera. Sorry, I had to make a little break uh, um, shortly before because my handy is not or my handy. It's what we call in German handy. Uh, my smartphone is not able to record more than. Um, 30 minutes after that it's always uh, saying me no no further you have to delete something so um, we continue with all the aces and it's looking a bit too bright on my camera I'm not sure something on the lens or so but still this one and oh my gosh look at that a white raven for the ace of swords what a challenges <laughs> I wonder what boons is, so I'm not, sh not. Uh, I don't know the word, so I hope, uh, not I hope, I will look it up after that. So this almost looks a bit like, really looks for like from the fairy, uh, not from a fairy tale, so the frog prince or something. So a uh, little bit, although it's, it's a ring here, which is quite interesting. So we have the two of spells, the two of spells. Spells was not fire. Spells was. Uh, I'm a bit bones. So we have challenges for air, visions for water, spells is for. Yeah, spells is for fire. Boons is for. Yeah, okay. This is great. So we have uh, the O. Uh, the OM is featured here. This is still the system I hope to learn one day when I have more time. <laughs> and uh, But I'm sure in the book it's all described well. This was also a lovely, lovely story. The two of visions. So the two of cups. And I love it that uh, two women are featured here. Not the traditional uh, uh, yeah, man and female, male and female couple. This is really something I... I appreciate it. Uh, reminds me a bit of, uh, especially because of the roses uh, of the fairy tale. Um, is it called in English Snow White and Rose Red? Schneeweißchen and und Rosenrot. Schneeweißchen und Rosenrot. It's called in uh, in German. And uh, yeah, lovely. Oh, look at that! This is the two of. Hmm, this is interesting. Look. He looks like younger there and no beard, is it? What? No, it, it's it's a beard. It could be that the younger version facing an older one. But, hmm, two of challenges. Let, let's look it up. Two of challenges. Um, there we have it. No, he's also have, having a beard. Traveling through the forest, a young man suddenly comes upon a magic mirror blocking his path. The looking glass hangs in mid-air with no visible means to, of support and no way to remove it. The forest is thick with undergrowth here. It can't, uh, he can't, uh, can't go forward, he can't go around, and he doesn't want to go back. So he chooses the obvious solution. He looks into the mirror. He sees himself exactly as he is. No mystical vision or otherworldly en entity, just his own startled, wide-eyed self. You may have gotten into a situation from which there is no obvious positive movement forward. This card signif uh, signifies a pause for clarification, not about the situation, but also um, but about your place in it. You can't go uh, any farther. Um, on this on this path uh, until you take a long look at yourself stop being in denial about your own faults and failings stop distracting yourselves to avoid facing the truth you will make better progress when you are clearer about your true intentions okay closer look mirrors have a long history in the world of enchantments while you may on occasion see other beings in the mirror remember that it is also a magical power to truly see yourself this is really great Especially if, uh, if it's the air suit. I guess it's the air suit challenges, uh, the swords. So um, 
two of swords, so being in the mind, being back and forth about something, uh, trying to get a closer look, a clearer look on, on yourself, on your, uh, yeah, on what's going on in your mind. This is really great. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, look at, this is quite, I really quite traditional. Oh, look at that. There. This looks like a troll. Oh my gosh. Hmm. If he's not careful enough. He looks really uh, like, well, I'm doing my thing. Uh, I'm carrying it. But he also uh, looks into the air. Maybe he's not aware of what, what's underneath. And is it, it's a question if this troll or whatever this is, um, is really dangerous. Two, two, two. Where are the twos? Not the fours, the twos. It's also great that uh, each number has a uh, has an introductory uh, part. So the two, the two of boons. Okay. So what is this? What an ogre? Okay, it's an ogre, not a troll. Uh, an ogre is hiding under the bridge. This is a ferocious cannibal, and he would make quick work. Of the man if he fell ah so that's the point so he has to be careful uh, balancing everything and uh, yeah if he's not ba balancing everything carefully enough well ogre dinner <laughs> I would say uh, again ogres are the bad ones mm, well but I, I know a, a similar fairy tale with uh, three uh, goats uh, who are crossing a bridge. Uh, each goat is bigger than the other one and they these uh, three goats are trick playing a trick on this uh, troll beneath the bridge because this troll obviously wa also wants to eat the goats and um, yeah, in the end um, he's the one um, um, yeah, with no luck at all and I should say um, uh, yeah, it looks like uh, in this fairy tale that he has no uh, luck uh, anymore because uh, he's falling off uh, uh, into the yeah into the abyss of a deep I don't know into into a river at least the bridge is really uh, high above a river and uh, yeah so this is always interesting with fairy tales sometimes when you uh, read them or reread them uh, when you're an adult you think oh my gosh this is for children I cannot believe it it's so brutal and f and wow but uh, when I was a child, it was, yeah, well, he's dead then. Well deserved. He wanted to eat the goats. Yeah. It's cool. oh, this, the colors are really amazing. Three of spells. So we are now in the three of fire. Look at that. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Look at that. The happy dancing bears. Okay. Three of cups. This is really... Look at the faces <laughs> they're having a good time <laughs> aren't they they're super cute and they're having the uh, yeah they they're having the time of their lives bear bear dance party <laughs> oh and there we have this is definitely the three of swords oh my gosh what did he uh, experience heartbreak was she his uh his lover or or is it oh no 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 maybe these are children i'm not quite sure they look like children oh hansel and gretel yeah 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 yeah, yeah. okay maybe he's the father and um has to leave leave them behind uh, betrayal a heartless decision yeah this sounds like Sounds like Hansel and Gretel. Hmm. It is easy to get lost in the woods. It is also easy to get rid of something there. Um, a desperately poor man has brought his little daughter and his son fine to the forest, intending to leave them to their fate. At home, only slow starvation awaits them. Perhaps among the wild beasts, their end will be quicker. This is a terrible moment. It's the moment when a father abandons his children. The children are puzzled, but they trust him. They will wait here for his return. 
You've probably heard a tale of like this before. Alas, there have been many children abandoned in the enchanted forest. In the story, they frequently do quite well for themselves. In the stories. But the brutal betrayal is not easily overcome. This card signifies a hardening of emotions and fateful decisions made in a moment of weakness and fear. It is a warning to protect yourself and it is also cautions against hurting others. There are many kinds of betrayal and many ways to break your own heart. Hmm, this is interesting. Love that. But it was not an easy one, as you see in the face. Ah, oh, the three of boons. Oh, look at this. Making a magic potion. And look at the, the crow, the raven, making notes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, four of spells it's also lovely oh yeah the four visions someone is a bit bored although there's a kingfisher and a dragonfly yeah this is a dragonfly okay this almost looks like lotus flowers not quite sure Seerose, we call them, but no, Lotus is not a Seerose, so, uh, but maybe this could be, um, uh, not a Lotus, uh, but the other one. Hmm. Four of challenges. Oh, this is interesting. This tree is, uh, surrounded by winter, so, by frost. Four of challenges is a four of air, where you have to rest, um, this is interesting. This tree is quite flourishing, but the surrounding is, um, yeah. The surrounding is dangerous, so maybe you have to find peace. Yeah, it's it's sometimes it's it's a bit tricky with new depictions, and I'm quite. I don't. Uh, let's see. I know this takes forever. A winter forest, okay. Gathering your inner resources and replenish in your spiritual strength. Respite. Sanctuary in times of trouble. Okay, this is the sanctuary. Mm -hmm. In times of trouble. Your own green spot when everything outside is freezing cold and and uh, dangerous. Oh, look at that. Looks like, not trolls, uh, goblins or something. Five of spells. Well, he's making interesting things. Trying to, hmm, it looks like he tries to, um, yeah, transform them, but uh, it's looking a bit like a mess actually here. I can't focus so. Now it will be a bit quicker. Ah, now we have it. The frog prince, the princess, and the distance. There's the four, five of visions. Oh, whoa, okay. He looks like uh, from a German fairy tale, or not, it's not a fairy tale, it's a myth, Rübezahl, which was also something like a giant. And he was not a f great fellow. Five of challenges. And look at that. The Five of Pentacles, or Boons in this case. I've read something about that with two brothers who are so uh, enclosed in their suffering that they are not aware that there's something happening there, that there is a path. This is quite. I've read something like uh, wild strawberries in winter, so there's wonder, but they are so focused on their suffering, they cannot see that. Uh, cannot see that. And another dragon. Look at those faces. This warm expression on their faces is really amazing. And this cute dragon there. Oh, cutesy. Six of visions. Okay, this is childhood memories. Oh, come. And isn't that amazing? There in the distance. Can you see that? Ratty and Mole from the Wind and the Willows. So definitely reading that book, I guess. <laughs> oh, she is looking great. 
Oh, she, she, oh, this is an interesting perspective. She got away before the wolves get her. Again, the bad wolf. I don't like that. So the depiction, no problem. But uh, this is something I've still struggled with, the big bad wolf. This fairy tale is still uh, the reason why many wolves, uh, and they are coming back here in Germany, more in East Germany, uh, are having troubles because always we have this fairy tale in our heads, even as an adult, and um, nothing, uh, yeah, supports that, so to speak. So um, this is something uh, I don't like in fairy tales when the wolf is the bad guy. So yeah, I know where it's coming from, but I don't like that. Six of Boons. Oh, look at that. Many bunnies. Six of booms is the six of pentacles. Interesting. Hmm. Another dragon and some dwarfs. Really love that. Okay. Ah, many things to choose from. Seven of visions. Wow. And look at that. Seven of challenges, seven of swords. Getting away with something. So the fox. Again. <laughs> the sneaky fox. Seven of boons. Okay. Yeah, with some uh, cards I have to look at the claw. Ah, there, there are the owls. Eight of spells. So something to do quickly. So, yeah. Fire. Wow. Eight of visions. They seem to be a bit lost there. And look, it's like some enchantment is driving them a bit uh, puzzled. So they are puzzled. Hmm. Eight of challenges. Ah. Oh. Wow, this is interesting. And a strong card. Wow. Ah, oh, this is also one of the cards I've seen very early on. The Eight of Boons. So beautiful. There is something, some noise in the background. I'm not quite sure if this is a good sign. <laughs> you will learn a bit more about that sound and who is making it in the future. Or I've maybe already told you that. Uh, who this little... Yeah, and you hear her now. And uh, really, I don't know when you will see this um, and what I uh, will tell you all uh, about that. But uh, just in case, this is my puppy, Momo. And she is a bit, uh, yeah, she wants a bit more attention at the moment. So we'll see how this will go. So we have the Nine of Visions. I will do it a bit quicker now. Nine of Challenges. Oh, this is nice. It reminds me a bit of a card from the guy in Tarot. There's also someone hiding in, in a den or something. Something he built from twigs and uh, branches uh, on the forest floor and uh, cuddles into that. But he looks more like uh, trying to hide from uh, creepy trees. And there are some creatures with eyes here in the dark. So who knows? There's something to fear. I'm really amazed by the colors, I have to say. Really amazed by them. So this one really looks like a small, small person. Because this looks like a moth. It's interesting. Ten of spells. Hmm. This is also interesting. Spells was uh, fire. Ten of fire. Hmm. Doesn't look too good for them. Some look a bit... Ten of fire. Forest folk. Something like that comes next. Okay. Exhaustion. Burnout. Dischantment. Regret. In hindsight. Burdens too big to bear alone. Oh yes, something sounds familiar here for me in the last month or so. Yeah, yeah. 
Ten of Visions. Look at that. Unicorn family. Sweet. Oh, the Ten of Challenges. At least no one is stepped in that, in that image. But the broken sword and he looks like, yeah, he's lost everything. But his horse is there. So maybe not everything is lost. He can get away. Hmm. Oh no, look at that. This looks like, okay, I want to sit there. That looks so welcoming. And they have a dance and have music and a little bit to eat and to drink. And this warm colors. Ah, yeah. And look at the doggy here. <laughs> so beautiful. Ah, now we come to the to the folk. How oh, is that fairy folk? No, forest folk. For the people cards. Is that what they call it? Forest folk. People cards. Okay. Now we have the child. We will have the seeker, which is the knight. And we will have the uh, weaver, which is the queen. And the keeper, which is the king. So we have spells. So child of fire. So with, with this... Um, uh, um, Calling it the child is totally okay with me. I'm used uh, uh, through uh, to call it like that in the in the guy in tarot. <laughs> she looks like very happy dancing child in the in the rain, in the forest. This is great. Look at that. This looks like a spider web, in a spiral uh, symbol. <laughs> the imp Expressions on their faces are great, and she looks a bit child of challenges. Yeah, she seemed a bit challenged. Challenged. Hmm. Oh no! <laughs> Do we have here uh, uh, Hansel <laughs> in the gingerbread house, and soon the witch is coming out? Ah, oh, yeah. The seeker of spells. So the knight of. Of uh, fire, I I really call it by the elements because I'm so used to use the the guy in tarot, uh, the yeah of course of um, rods I want to say. I kind of cannot recall it at the moment. <laughs> oops, 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 oops. The knight of wands. Thank you. <laughs> Look, there's a fox, and this seems to be a magical flower. Seeker of Visions. Mm, Spring-like forest. Wow. A seeker of Challenges. Uh, wow. And there we have again. Uh, he was in the Ace, I guess. The White Raven. It's interesting. You don't see them uh, riding, actually. So he's standing there. The horse in the background. So we have the Seeker here. Here the Seeker... Seeker of Spells. So they have not... No, there is no, ch uh, there is no horse, just a fox. Here we have maybe butterflies there, but uh, not even a, an animal companion. This is quite... Hmm. After getting used to it. The Seeker of Visions, Challenges. Okay, this was the child. This is uh, interesting and you have to get your head around that because... I would ha wouldn't have a problem with... Oh, sorry, it's not focused. Um, I wouldn't have a problem with um, having uh, knights, or in this case seekers, without any horse or something. Um, but when you have this mishmash, so there is a horse and the others have don't have a horse. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's maybe just personal thing. Oh, look at that. This was also one of the first. And this color range, and it's all so vibrant and, and glowing, and the movement, and wow. This is the Weaver of Spells. So the Queen of Fire, the Queen of Wands. Here we have the Queen of Cups, which we saw already. And yeah, try to focus. Wow. 
this uh, is the this kind of um, uh, thorny bush or something something this thorny plant uh, is something that uh, is uh, depicted here and there in the challenger suit in the, the suit of swords. So coming back, ah, look at that! This is really all the details, the house and the greens and. This looks like an offering of herbs or something. And there a beehive, black cat in the windows there. She's bare feet. And what a lush garden. Love that. <laughs> the keeper of spells. Wow. This man is burning. <laughs> Radiating fire. It's interesting with the dragon in the center. The salmon. So for the king of... It's interesting. The queen is a, a mermaid a kind of creature. And here we have the salmon. It's also quite interesting. So the king of swords. Yeah. And he is also wonderful in his crystal cave. It looks with a badger. I love that. With a badger. So this is a great deck. So I'm really looking forward to, to work with it, to see what, what comes up. I will let you know. There we have them again. I will let you know uh, how working with this deck uh, will turn out for me. So I guess this is also something I will um, talk about more, uh, how I work with the decks I own. I also think about um, a video where I um, will uh, share my new, not necessarily uh, five decks I can't, li uh, can't live without, but uh, maybe more. So decks, in general decks without... Uh, saying a number I cannot live without and uh, which are the decks I'm um, most often turn to. And maybe also how I work or uh, how I uh, rediscover certain decks, um, about the joy that certain decks um, that I have suddenly uh, are igniting, something like that, I guess, is, is uh, will be part of my future videos. So bear with me. I'm not uh, sure when and how I'm able to make videos. I cannot promise uh, the kind of... Uh, I will be back soon. Of course, there will uh, be the first video now. So, um, And there are other uh, other um, decks I want to talk about and also the, the kind of uh, um, best decks uh, or my favorite decks is also a video um, which I can guess can easily make um but you know life is, sometimes is in a way and uh, i've already told you i have a puppy uh who's now um almost almost uh six months old or i guess when this video will come up uh, out uh, she is six months uh six months old um yeah half a year and um, yeah, and I hope uh, to make uh, also my uh, at some point a video about her. Sorry for my bad English. It's really it's today is really the first day I'm making a video after last year in summer, <laughs> so to 2018. So um, it's it's been a while, and I also want to will will talk about also my um, uh, my new studies. I'm. Um, taking part in a new year and a day study and not necessarily new it's a uh, it's the following up program uh by season of the seeker the graystone path by any graystone from earth and reverence which i immensely enjoyed five years ago and that she now she's come, is, is come has come back uh or I, she, she came back and is now on patreon and um I signed up for her uh, season of the dedicant and I couldn't be more happier with uh, how everything is, is working at the moment and how I am coming back into the feeling uh, 
of studying with her and with other great students and with uh, with friends from five years ago. And um, I'm I'm really happy about that. So this is over an hour long. Sorry for that, but maybe you will like it anyway. Uh, sorry if I stumble, especially in the second half of the video. Um, uh, sometimes I have to make longer breaks and um, not only because my, my camera is, uh, uh, yeah, isn't working anymore, but also because other duties are calling me, especially, like I said, puppy and garden and whatever. So I wish you all the best and we will see us when we will see us. <laughs> so until next time, bye.